Today, we're taking a look at Raphael, the witty voice of the Turtles, from the 1988 Basic Assortment Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles toy line. So stay tuned. Alright guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, where all geek culture collides, and if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. Today, we're taking a look at Raphael, the witty voice of the turtles, from the 1988 Basic Assortment Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles toy line. As you'll notice here, he is an incomplete figure. I say that because he does not have any of his accessories whatsoever. The reason for this is because I found him at a rummage sale. And since he was in pretty good shape, I decided to pick him up, especially since my son Duke is a huge fan of Ninja Turtles. Now, I was able to go on to uh, TMNTToys.com and look up the figures from that era. And the weapons he came with were, si were two size, Turtle Fist Daggers, Ninja Stars, comma, Weapons Rack. On his packaging, he was listed as Birthplace, Shelly's Pet City, New Ham Shell, Height of 5 Foot 1, Weight 147 Pounds with Shell, Age 15 in People Years, Shell, Hard as Old Chewing Gum. The description on the packaging. Raphael is the wittiest turtle you're likely to stumble over. If things aren't going his way, his tongue snaps out sarcastic jokes dipped in poison. Even though he's referred to as the snapping ninja, the turtles know he means well. Raph's clever skill with the deadly sigh allows him to strike at a distance and really keep the foot in stitches. His way with the manhole cover has made him famous in sewers everywhere. Raph uses the 100-pound disc to flatten the foot and to shield off anti-turtle blasts. All right, so as a kid, I had all of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles basic figures along with the majority of the extended figures. Uh, my favorite of the toy line was Michelangelo. He was also my favorite of the, uh, the cartoon but my the first Ninja Turtle I owned was actually Leonardo. I remember I got in trouble one day um, because I did not want my brother playing with my brand new Leonardo action figure. So I took him, I hid him in my book bag and before school one day. My grandma was watching us and Jeremy went over to the toy box and asked where Leonardo was. And I told him he was in the toy box. And my grandma said, he better be because I'm going to check when you're at school. Well, <laughs> when I got home from school, I got into quite a bit of trouble. Because my mom came home and immediately asked me where the Ninja Turtle was. And I, he was in my book bag. So anyway, guys, now... I'd have to say my favorite is Raphael as an adult uh, because I just like his sarcasm. As an adult now, I find myself drawn more to or, towards um, hot-headed characters like Raphael, like Vegeta, like Wolverine, um, you know, hotheads who maybe at one time were bad or kind of not really heroes but more like anti-heroes in a sense if that makes sense and you can tell this is from the original basic toy line because he's got the squishy head uh, later versions of the basic toy line uh, they did do actual molds in plastic of the heads so they were solid but this is the vintage, the original. <laughs> that, that's just fun. So, as you can see here, his his size, 
Let's see. So I think his size... No. His size would go here. And then his hand blade, the little triangular one, would go right back here. And one thing I can say about the Ninja Turtles toy line is... Playmates did not skimp out. They did not just redo the same mold, uh, same paint job, just different color bandanas or whatever. They gave each turtle their own distinct mold. Raphael's skin is a bright green. Donatello's was more of a brownish green. Uh, some of them had just the one side of the mouth open and then the other side closed. You know, it, it was... It was Original to each individual turtle. Which was very nice. We don't get that nowadays. So anyway, his head can turn all the way around. And it could, it could pop off. Uh, however, it is kind of a pain to pop back on. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Any of you guys remember this toy line, you'll know what I mean. Hold tight a second, guys. All right, guys, there we go. I got him, finally. It took a little bit of doing, but I got him back. So, yeah, the squishy head ones, their heads are removable, but I don't recommend it because it's a pain in the butt to uh, put back on. Because it's not a standard, standard round peg. It's... Uh, Kind of a saucer shaped, I guess. So anyway, his arms do move, turn all the way around. And it articulated at the uh, elbow for the forearm only. Uh, same with this side. Legs can go all the way around. Uh, can go out about that far. Raphael has no problem standing at all, just like the other vintage Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, and as I've said in other reviews, the vintage line did not really have much problems of the turtles holding their weapons. Uh, their fists were pretty tight, and it was made of a sol solid enough plastic to where it didn't, the hands didn't really stretch out hardly at all. So the same way they gripped their hand, uh, their weapons when you first get them out of the package, was the same way they gripped them throughout the lifespan of the toy. Now the belt's another thing that it comes off, but it is on a peg. And you could see exactly where their belt goes. And if I remember correctly, these were also kind of a pain to snap back on. You almost need three hands to do it. There we go. Not as bad as I remember, uh, but still not the easiest thing in the world to do. So there you have it, guys, from the 1988 Basic Assortment Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles toy line, Raphael. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. I'm Shannon for Comic TV. Take care.